Ah, the poor old PBC. They just can't seem to do anything right, can they? Nothing, they can't get nothing right. <laughs> Is your TV a bit rubbish and you wish it did more? Why not get a new streaming stick? Have a look at the link on the screen or it's down in the description somewhere to see my top recommendations for streaming sticks on Amazon. Go and have a look after you watch the video, obviously. Hi, it's me again. Oh, and did I get sent this story a lot by you brilliant people out there. If you want to send me a story you find something you want me to talk about or you think I might have missed, you'll find out how to do it down in the contact details below. And I got sent this one Loads, loads. People are up in arms about it. Licence fee payers cannot believe the BBC would dare do something like this. Look. The BBC has cancelled its seasonal wildlife series Autumn Watch amid challenging times financially. Yeah, they've cancelled Autumn Watch. Not my cup of tea, but I understand people did enjoy Autumn Watch. And it was something that the BBC did that no one else could touch. And many people treasured it. It's been going many years as well. Many years, isn't it, Autumn Watch? But they cancelled it due to challenging times financially. Now, I'm no TV expert. I work in TV. I never will, right? But you don't often hear of ITV cancelling what it considers one of its hit shows because it can't afford to make them. It needs shows that people watch because the more viewers means better advertisers and more advertising money. BBC doesn't have that problem. So who is it trying to please? Where's the money going? Because... They get 3.7 billion quid a year from TV license fees, plus chuck in another billion and a half from commercial activities and selling stuff around the world. Where's the money going? They can't make that stretch, and they can't even make something that's probably quite cheap to make, like Autumn Watch. And, you know, if you pay your license fee, and this was one of the things that you enjoyed from the BBC, and now you're not getting it, are you getting any value for your license fee? Have a think about how much BBC content you actually consume if you're not going to be able to watch your Autumn Watch anymore and decide if you want to save the 159 quid a year. Because you're not going to lose anything else. You're only going to lose BBC stuff. You can still watch ITV stuff, Channel 4 stuff, Channel 5 stuff, just on catch-up, on demand. You want to save the 159 quid a year? Have they annoyed you that much? Do you want to show the BBC how you feel about them cancelling Autumn Watch? You cancel your telly licence. All the details you need below. Go and have a look on the channel. In a statement made by the broadcaster, the BBC said that it will seek to focus its resources on content that has the highest impact, which is usually quiz shows or reality shows, the lowest common denominator. That's usually what that is. They have said that Autumn Watch would not take place in 2023 and beyond. The broadcaster will instead direct more money into sister programmes Spring Watch and Winter Watch. Poor Summer Watch. I don't get that though. So Spring Watch and Winter Watch, but not Autumn Watch. Why make those two, but not Autumn Watch? And where's Summer Watch? Is that not a thing? Does that not exist? I don't know. Why don't they just make one show and call it, I don't know, Watch? <laughs> and then you have to have all of this. It's BBC, it's just messy thinking, isn't it? Why did Autumn Watch get the chop and not Spring Watch or Winter Watch? I mean, out of all the seasons, I prefer Autumn. To win, oh, I like autumn. I'm an autumn kind of guy, me. I, I, don't, I don't know. These are challenging times financially, and we need to make difficult decisions and focus our resources on content that has the highest impact. Because Spring Watch gets four more viewers than Autumn Watch, so we're going to keep Spring Watch. <laughs> Sadly, this means that Autumn Watch will not be continuing. Instead, we're investing more into Spring Watch and Winter Watch as they are most popular with audiences. Can there really be that big a disparity in viewing figures between Autumn Watch and Winter Watch? Really? <laughs> the Watch series first began in 2005 with Spring Watch. Its success led to the BBC to commission a one-off special of Autumn Watch, which became a full series in 2006. Winter Watch later followed in 2012. And yet nobody could be bothered to make Summer Watch. Which seems odd. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I don't know. I used to be still all over it. Fuzzy thinking, silly ideas, commission tat. No, it's just BBC all over. This is what happens when you don't have to please advertisers. You can make any old crap you want and make any old decisions you like because you haven't got advertisers to please. You've only got license fee players to please. Blah, blah. And you can threaten them into paying for the license. Can't do out of advertisers, can you? Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because that way, hopefully, I'll see you 
in another video again soon, will I? Ta-da.